Hey guys, John here. I uh, ho hooked up my uh, crossover today for the first time. I was I told some of you guys, some of you guys know about that I bought it. Anyways, I bought the Behringer one. It's the uh, Super Super X Pro CX2310. Don't know what it means, but it works great. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to do the whole crossover thing. Um, so I just got my crossover. It's all set. I don't know what the numbers really mean. Uh, but basically it's all set up. It just, I listen to it. It sounds good. I listen to it. It sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds good. It's all sweet. So anyways, I got uh, my Baron Shure 2500 watt amp going, uh, pushing the EVs right there. And then I have um, my, uh, the 18 here. And this is the one I told you about that I had, um, a, um, sorry, reported. I can't really see it, so if I can't see it here, when I, by the time I put it on YouTube, it ain't gonna be able to see it. But basically, it used to be split right here in the center, and then it was a big square port, a big square port, and then there was a big piece of wood in there in the back. And basically, it was it, it was just a really crappy design. So my friend, he took that out, took the, all the wood out inside, and just reported the box, put a big hole right here. It's an 8-inch hole. I forget how long it is with the 18. And the 18 is the Mackie Fusion. It's the Fusion 1800 SA. And it's like 2600 watts or something like that. Or It's designed to, to, to run two, so I guess it can be um, maybe it's 3000 watts and um, this right here is supposed to slave off to another one. And it's supposed to push that one at 3,000 watts. So I think it's capable of 6,000, but I think it pushes only this one at, at like 2,500 or 3,000 watts or something like that. So it's a wiring mess though. I mean, you had that crossover there and you have to add two more wires to it. So, but yeah, so it goes from my Behringer board into my Behringer crossover, my Behringer amp, and then I mix max it with uh, my Mackie sub and my EV tops and it actually sounds really good my wife was in the back of the house and she was saying that it um, was rattling the windows completely and actually woke her up from her nap so say hi good girl <laughs> eating your banana anyways um, so the the crossover was only excuse me uh, 79 bucks uh, with shipping it was like 80 something something like that and uh, uh, I've never used a crossover before I like it it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be um, Behringer again it's not digital or anything like that it's just all the twist knobs which is fine I mean you don't, I, don't, I don't need a uh, Behringer one but so uh, anyways I told you guys that I would post a video on it and I'm wearing my jacket out here in the garage for you guys it's a freezing like 42 degrees outside so <laughs> I'm freezing it's freaking cold anyways um, so yeah that's it there's my video for you guys I'm happy it took me like I don't know an hour to figure it out because I've never tried to do it before so I'm happy it's awesome all right you guys um, DJ train signing out remember practice and enjoy.